subscribe to YouTube. This is All Things Quick. So today we're back with this boosted E46. We're gonna get at the fuel pump. I just did something off camera. I just took this off here. This is the water nozzle for the washer fluid jets. I'm gonna swap this one out because this here has jets that spray nicely. Whereas these ones here spray, I don't know if you can see it, but they're basically just circular ports and they just soak the window and use a bunch of fluid. Anyways. Look at that. We got some wiper jets. I want jets that spray a mist instead of just a solid stream. So I'm gonna swap that out. That's a small thing. I wanna get a, getting that fuel pump in there today. I fixed this thing here. It was leaking out where I put that spark plug in there. So I put a, ga a rubber gasket on there, plugged it back in, kind of repositioned it, drilled a hole, put another zip tie in it. It's holding up, it's not leaking, it's all good. So that thing's good to go. Didn't wanna bore you with that on camera, so I did it off camera. Basically right now, swap out that nozzle there and then I'm gonna pull this car into its parking space. I'm going to get this car out here so I can get it in the back seat to do the fuel pump. This is a super delicate process, trying not to break 20 year old plastic. If you're looking to do this yourself, what you want to do is go on the bottom side here and you want to take a flathead and you want to just pry it up because it is delicate and it will break so just be careful with that. So there it is, one of the nozzle jets were loose in here. One of the plastic pieces had broken off. I just stuck a zip tie on there gonna cut that off yeah that's that uh, definitely more of a luxury thing I mean it's functional and I don't even mind the silver look on the blue I think it looks nice it kind of matches the front there and you know what people would say why don't you just paint it the same color well you know what I don't care because as long as it goes fast I couldn't care less about what it looked like that's a better jet than what these ones are but this one I'll store this because there's absolutely nothing wrong with this one and it is good to have so I just pulled this car up here and take this back seat out the fuel pump is right underneath here so this section has to come up as well. I'm gonna make a cut right here. Open this thing up just to move it from these wires. And yeah, I'm just gonna remove this piece. And then we have to take off these four bolts here to the fuel pump housing. And now that that's off, I can pull this up here. So for anyone watching this, if you don't know how to do it, you basically just hit the end of a screwdriver with a hammer and then you would spin it counterclockwise and then that will that will take it off. But these things, a lot of times, they just rust right out, so that's why they give you multiple points to do it on. I just remove this connector here. Pretty much this thing will pop right out. There we go. You wanna try your best not to get all that junk in there too. So I'm gonna cut this off here, and then I'm going to put a small hose clamp on that there and pull this straight out of there. Well, I'll put the hose clamp on later, but for now I'm gonna cut that one-time use clamp off. Just taking this line off now. There we go. Should have actually relieved the pressure in the engine bay, but there you go. Gasoline just cleans. That's what I always say. I'm just kidding, I never say that, but yeah. So now, just pull this straight out like this, and it's just stuck on the rubber seal right there, so I'm gonna take that out off camera. All right, so here it is. I'm just trying not to make a mess here. It's gonna be a mess if you're not careful. I'm gonna get the bobber out of there. Oh, flip. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's out. I'm gonna put this somewhere where I can let it leak. So I'm gonna clean this up, especially the top there because it's filthy. But what we're after here is this fuel pump right there. So we need to take it out of this slot, remove this hose, remove the electrical connectors inside there. And then we need to slip in our new high flow performance fuel pump. Then put a new hose on there, new electrical connectors. Put in our little sleeve that we have to make that fit in there. So here is our new Aeromotive fuel pump. We have a hose. We have electrical connectors, we have some hose clamps, pump itself, and we have this insert sleeve here that was 3D printed from my buddy. We're going to put a clamp on that and that will hold it in place nice. Okay, so that's super annoying. I just broke this fuel pump. This was the old one, so it's fine, but it just sucks because it was working. The end of that broke off there. It was stuck in this here, so I just took that out. But whatever, we're not running that anyways. This is just, they're, they're good to have. If you know it's working, it's good to save it, put it on the side, and then if you ever need Need another fuel pump later on then there you go you don't have to spend money but I know for sure that pump still works like we just started this car and moved it so whatever here's the piece from where the fuel pump sits so this is the 3d printed part so this just slides 
straight into here. We'll clip into place. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. It clips into place like that and then the fuel pump goes inside of it and it's loose so that you need a band clamp or a hose clamp around the end of that. So I'm gonna put a clamp on that, tighten it down. I got this hose clamp on it now so this thing is in place and it doesn't move. Like it doesn't move up and down I mean. And now we just gotta put this filter on the bottom. It has to go in there afterwards and then we just hook up the pickup tube right here into that slot. You don't want to put your fuel pump too high. Don't let it sit too high because you want your pickup to be as low as possible right there on your filter. Also this Aeromoto, just to mention it is a 340 LPH. I just wired up some connectors here so then it can go into the positive and the negative connectors on the existing fuel pump housing. This is excessive and very long. Don't need all this. I could have done without this connector. I probably could have just chopped this thing. I probably should have just chopped that thing off and kept the connector separately. Actually, you know what? I am gonna do that. I'm gonna cut this right here. I'm gonna put two connectors on there and then I'm gonna tie them into those. This is excessive. Like, I don't I don't need all this and I can keep this connection for something else. So that makes way more sense to do it this way. So I just have these connectors on the fuel pump. I'm gonna put the negative to negative and positive to positive and that's it. Call it a day. And then I have this extra connector for something else that I might need to use down the road. So that's all done. Got the filter on, got the fuel pump in, got the 3D printed housing in, got the hose clamp on pickup tube is on with the hose clamp and I zip tied the negative terminal there to the thing just so that this never touches the connection on the power at would and could start a fire in your gas tank and that's bad so anyways now it's just a matter of putting this thing back in then I have to put a hose clamp on the top there on the fuel line and then that's it and then put it back together so now I just got to put this pump back in place here I gotta set that in place and then I just put anti-seize all over on the inside of this thing. I'm just gonna make it easier to slide back on and to be able to take off next time as well. I'm gonna put that back on off camera, but that will be the end of the fuel pump. If you're trying to do a fuel pump at home, put the O-ring that came off on this thing on first and then slip the plastic in place. Fuel line, hose clamps back on, connector needs to go back in place. And then just this cap to go back on here. Put those 10 mil bolts back on and then this thing is done. And now that the seat's back in place, you can't even tell that anything happened. Whenever you change a fuel pump, you wanna prime the system before you start it. Just turn your key to the on position. Do that a few times. Just turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. That will prime your system, but you don't start it when you're doing it. You just turn to the on position. All right, so I'm just back from picking up some things. I got a barbed and a threaded fitting for the bottom of this thing. I'm gonna probably end up mounting this somewhere about there. Not sure exactly where yet, but I need to run a fuel line down to the fuel filter which I got a new fuel filter this is from a 1998 323i because it doesn't have the fuel pressure regulator on it like the E46 does I'm going to put this in line and then run the hose from here to one side of the fuel pressure regulator here and then this side would go out into the fuel rail and then this is the return line back down to the gas tank and this would be the return line just gonna mount everything not sure if I have enough fuel line I hope I do but but we'll, we'll see. I got 11 feet. I think it might be a little bit short. And if I am, that's going to screw me. So we'll see how that goes. All right. So I'm going to explain this just a little bit better. So here's my fuel line coming in. My new one that I just got. Here's the fuel filter. So the fuel filter on the E46 has a fuel pressure regulator. You can see that right here. This little section there. That's the fuel pressure regulator. That goes up to what would be the air intake boot. A little nipple on the top. So we deleted that. So that needs to go. The blue line's the pickup from the fuel tank and then the black line is the return line the bottom side of the fuel pressure regulator needs to go into the return which would be here and then there's another line that comes in that will go off the end of this from the blue line that is the inlet of the fuel filter so there's good news and there's bad news here so the good news is that I got my fuel system run I have my fuel pressure regulator going into the back of the manifold there so I have a fuel line going in which is right there and that goes from the fuel filter into this and then it comes out here goes into the fuel rail on this line and then there's the return line that's on the bottom there that's the top setup all done under Underneath in here, I got the fuel filter run there. It's going in from the blue line and then it goes out that fuel filter to the fuel pressure regulator. And you have your return line right here that goes from the drain 
or the return of the fuel pressure regulator. So I'm going to leave this how it is here and I'm going to bolt the cover back on. Then I'm gonna wrap everything up. So today we got rid of this thing and it's a good thing that we did because look at here. Look how black that is in there. So that's dirty fuel in there. It's a dirty filter. This hose here, this went from the fuel rail down into where it connects to the fuel filter. So this is also no good because I ran the line straight in there from the fuel pressure regulator. So no need for this thing. But again, it's still good for something else. So the bad news is here. I mean, the good news is that everything is finished and I'm going to bolt together some, you know, the headlight and whatever else and get this thing going again. But the bad news is, is that this engine is junk so it has a blown head gasket and I confirmed that because I pulled a fitting off the turbo. That's something else that I did. I, I changed that fitting down in there because it was leaking but this is super creamy. That's just from the drain line from the turbo so I might pull off the drain plug just to see how creamy it really is but I mean it's all circulating so yeah so that's no good so I'm gonna have to not this weekend but next weekend I'm gonna take this engine out and disassemble everything and I'm gonna get this 3 liter engine in the car so right now it's a 2.5 that one's a 3 liter be able to make some more power which is good but it's just a lot of extra work especially the fact that it's all wheel drive <laughs> By the way, this is way after the fact, so I couldn't get my car started and I knew that I messed up these lines, so it's blue for the return and black for the for the in. Yeah, do it that way. If you're trying to copy me, then do it that way. Anyways, the car is gonna start now, so that's good news. So here it is, everything's working. We have fuel pressure here. My mass airflow sensor is not even in place. It's just kind of sitting there just to pass some air through it. Engine's not running properly. Plus it has that blown head gasket now too. So yeah, this is just good enough to move it. So anyways, that's the end of this video. If you liked that video or this helped you out in any kind of way, definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let me know that you liked the video, you liked the content. Let me know down in the comments down below what you thought of this. And don't forget to join our Discord. Link's in the description. We will see you in the next one. See you later.